it's also I feel like it's the type of head that you have that probably would make it a uh, a big deal. Like you can have a bald, you can have a baldy, but if you have a small round head, it doesn't look that bad. Like look at the Rock, or so, look at some of the people. So I guess you're good. <laughs> you got a small <laughs> round head, bro. Yeah, you but I don't have no facial hair, so that's that's another like. Yeah, no. That's, that's <laughs> exactly. I can't. You better have grab no whatever you can get now, nigga. To be honest with you. It's going to happen to you. Because <laughs> you talk about it. This episode is yeah. all because of Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> was it really? Yeah. No, it was not. Yes. yes. I think, no. Yes. It was because of you. You're the only one that you, talks about hair. Oh, because I, love of, hair. I told you about the guy in the bus? Nah, because you told me some. Oh, like, you were like your hairline? Nah, because you, <laughs> you were like, you said some shit about like, Yo, how? Oh, yeah, I think I mentioned it as being like an episode, and then I told. Yeah, you. exactly. So now mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? There's a lot of people who are doing the hair transplant shit. There's mm-hmm. a lot of people who are doing the, the sprays at the barbershop. That's kind of the trend for guys, that, you know, when they do when they get a haircut. So why not talk about it? Yeah. Yo, I feel like the trend now is embracing hair, right? I feel like in the past you had Michael Jordan, you had Tupac, and they were like sex symbols with their baldies. Yeah. So, do you think it's it's ever gonna go back to that? Because time history repeats I think, itself. I think I think it's just a matter of like. I think who it's a matter like. of preference. Yeah. Like if you are like yo like my shit's bald and like I don't feel comfortable like I don't feel confident like let me get uh you know like a transplant or like let me do something to make myself feel better about myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that's it, also places. That's what I was saying earlier. I think it comes with age. Like it's a specific age and where like. It just looks weird. Like, when you're 20 or 18 bald, that's weird. Yeah. That's supposed to be your, kind of your prime years into your 30. And I see, okay, a little bit of recession. But, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. if it's bald then, then it's a little. Some girls don't like that. Yeah, like, I don't like that. But, like, obviously, if I was, like, 30 and, like, 30? I was meeting guys and, like, you know, half of them are bald, like, I'm not going to be, like, too picky. Yeah, I Because, like, I, I probably won't look that good as when I'm 30. You definitely won't look like that. You didn't have to say that. I'll be <laughs> dropping you soon. <laughs> Come back but, to me in ten years, sweetie. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I'd love to see will. that hairline. Oh my oh, god! Watch your mouth, bro. <laughs> that's just gonna be back here where his head is. <laughs> nah, it's gonna be right here where Romeo's at, bro. He has a big nah. forehead too. Yeah, he does. Oh, him got that that similarity, but um, big foreheads. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's just in the that's just in the. Let's just scoot that off. What I was gonna say is that I was on the um. I was on my way to a on the bus, and one of my friends was arguing with the bus driver. So this boy, he, he got all crazy with the bus driver for no reason. But it came to a point where, you know, the bus driver was like, "Yo, get the fuck off, get off, get off, get off." So he coming back, blah blah blah. Long story short, kid gets off the bus, and mind you, the bus driver is bald. Mm-hmm. Kid gets off the bus, and he goes to his group of friends, and he's like. Yo, that guy is crazy. That guy is stupid. Like, I would have smacked the shit off of him. I would have smacked his God, dome clean. Like, right? <laughs> and one of the friends was like, one of the friends was like, yo, honestly, like, that guy has nothing going for him. Like, if I had a choice between being bald or dead, I'll pick dead every time. <laughs> that's terrible. That's every so time. Terrible. I was like, "Yo, that's a little too extreme. That's a little extreme. Like, what? Yeah, You're picking death over." <laughs> I think most guys, <laughs> yeah, maybe if not every guy would agree that losing their hair is probably the biggest fear because you can't control it. Once it starts going, yeah. it's one of those things. Like that's like, just going. Yeah, it's like it's almost like getting cancer. All right, you dragged yeah, it. You, <laughs> <laughs> you dragged yeah. it, bro. It's not that like <laughs> important. That's life or death. The hair yeah, is hair, bro. That's true. But okay. that's what that's what it goes back to that that question that I said earlier, and where, how much does appearance really matter? Because I think to me, it matters a lot to me. To me now it does, but I don't think in the like ten twenty years I think I I would have less, um, I'll put less attention on that. I'll stress that less. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to hair. I mean physique wise and the way you keep up with your body that's one thing but when it comes to something that you can't really control because it's just inevitable sometimes yeah. uh, it is inevitable um just depending on how it's gonna go for you <laughs> then what are you gonna do about it nothing you know what i'm saying I mean, yeah a lot of things just to move do. on <laughs> there's a lot of things to do about it or to fix it and stuff you did yeah. a transplant it's, 
would you would you be okay with some of those options? Yeah. I don't know if I would. Yeah, I don't. That shit is first too expensive, and you gotta go through several treatments. Yeah, yeah. and I think so, you have to like keep up with it too. Right? Yeah, the side effects. Like if you take some of these pills or um, mic on your lips, bro. I uh, might glue that mic on your lips. Pause. The side of <laughs> I mean, yo, you sitting with armrests, so that you know, like, I'm so I'm a king. Put a crown right here. You feel me? I'm so, wearing your bald head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the, what's the cartoon? The king from SpongeBob in the movie. Who? Uh, He's like oh the, the freaking pickle! <laughs> <laughs> oh, with the glasses. No, that's the pickle. <laughs> the king of like the the oh, underwater. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the water. movie. And he's like bald. Yeah. I thought you were talking yeah. about. Remember bald, like when, bald, when I showed you? Yeah. And they all came out like yeah. bald. And, like bald. his head was like cracking. <laughs> I always think like that. It's bad yeah. when it gets to the point where even in cartoons, <laughs> they're like. It has this negative connotation. Like yeah. being bald is like. <laughs> An L that you have to just mm-hmm. take. Bro, that ass in my school, these five year olds, six year olds, I don't know why they find it funny, but they, when someone has like a low cut, you know what I'm saying? They dead ass be like, yo, you bald. <laughs> like, that's the joke. That's a running joke. You bald. You bald. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. I'm just like, how the hell do they know, like, like the, the difference between, I mean, obviously no hair, hair but like, <laughs> yeah. Like they but know like, like that joke that, that extreme. Like that means like something negative. Yeah, exactly. Like, I feel like saying like you're fat, like you're bald. Yeah, e- yeah. exactly. I'm just like, yo, these kids no, really don't too much. I know. That's why I laugh every day. But girls but. do girls be suffering hair loss too. Yeah, they yeah, they do. I remember I'm at the bus stop and like um the bus drops like a lot of the people who work in the state off. Yeah. She and I see mic, and I see a lot of um women who have very, very thin hair. And like sometimes, like I'm like, like why? But Yo, like hair? obviously, it's genetics, and like they can't help it, and they probably have children, or they're probably under a lot of stress. So you know, they're all just like losing their hair. But like, I feel like it's I won't say it's weird when like women lose their hair, because like I've I haven't personally met a woman that was you know like had really thin hair. Yeah. But like when I see it, I'm just like, like that could be me. I could literally be walking around. Yo, get the <laughs> not, yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Thank God. No, no, no. Stop hiding. Stop. I hope it's not. I won't be. But I wonder if it's true. I see a lot of women. Yeah, they do suffer from stress and stuff yeah. like that. And it's like, how? Like a man is supposed to beat you to that? <laughs> than you? Like no, than a woman. Mm-hmm. You know, like a woman isn't supposed to win that that baldness race. Yeah. But it happens to anyone. But that's sometimes. so scary. Like, like your next scary. You might just get your number. Might get picked, and that's it. This is gonna be you. Facts. I mean, talking about hair and embracing it. I think, like you said earlier, a lot of people are embracing it. I love when I see women embracing their like their natural hair. Yeah. Like I love seeing like their curls and like all that stuff. Like yeah, like I literally I love your hair. I always wonder, like I like, like when people like embrace their natural hair. I wish. I think I it's know, so. I, I think because of you, I think I've embraced more of the the natural. Hmm side of me i mean i'm what not were you embracing before <laughs> nah, i would just get like i was keeping up with i don't know like i would chop it get a you know a low cut whatever but now seeing it oh you mean even like yourself length? too yeah i mean in terms of like just hair i just kept the the natural you know the natural part of it the upkeep mm-hmm. you know just uh I, I think yeah i think it's it looks at first of all i think it looks better but not only that i think it's just authenticity it's just authentic a little bit like yeah it's like that's that's you, you mm-hmm. know. It's a part of you. It's different, a little bit. But so, would you be okay if Britney started growing hair under her arms and embrace that? That's just no. <laughs> like I was just flossing it. A lot of women do do that. That is natural. We're not, talking about natural now. That's as natural as it gets. Yeah, I mean, nah. Like, I, I wouldn't personally like it, but if that was her personal choice, yeah. Do you really? Is it hard upkeeping, like with <laughs> the beauty, really. like? Always shaving the <laughs> legs and doing the... I don't know if you shave your armpits or... Yeah, obviously. <laughs> wax or whatever, but... <laughs> Waxing hurts really bad. Word? Yeah, I went one time. Well, I literally felt like... It was so bad. I, like, if... I would recommend it if you do it, like, one time for, like, something big. But, like, I would never do it ever again. That shit was really bad. Why? Well, Is how they... Like, they tell us how like, they pull it? Yeah, like, what do you mean? Yeah, so, like, like, I, like, I, like I got... Like, a, give me a play-by-play of like how they okay so i got a bikini wax and then i got my my legs waxed but like only like the bottom half 
Yeah, but they sat you down like flat. All right, like, so all right. <laughs> I want to hear the whole story. Nah, I thought this is too like out there. Radar. But, um, yeah, like so you go in, like you make are. an appointment, and then you go in the room. They strip you down, like depending on where you're like getting waxed. Sometimes you'll have to get like completely naked, or like if you're getting a bikini wax, you have to take off like everything below the waist. And then you get up on the table, and then you have to like <laughs> spread your legs open. Oh, and there's another woman in there. Which, but like she's obviously like fine with it. Like, she's okay, but like it's so uncomfortable like, if you're not like if you're not like comfortable like Wait, that. Well, imagine that being your job. I feel, like, actually, I feel like I could. I feel like I could do it. I feel like it'd be really weird. But like she like was saying, like I was asking her like what's like um pop the cord. She's watch done. The cord, watch the cord. Sorry. I'm sorry. And we'll just have cheap equipment. Yeah. Wheat me. <laughs> <laughs> Use your common sense. Yeah, we're gonna have to upgrade on these because this is yeah, annoying. it's just black. But um, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, whoa, yeah, I but, can say, but you can't, bro. Okay, so, no okay, that. let me finish my story. You think uh, we speak in studios, all right? Facts. Okay, anyways, I think it would be really satisfying to like rip somebody's hair off. Oh, like guys, like guys will go in there and get like their chest waxed, their backs waxed, their back, back waxed. waxed. There we back go, waxed. <laughs> babe. And, like, I feel like that'd be really satisfying. Obviously, like, um, she was telling me that, like, guys will go there. They'll get, like, one or two, like, ripped. And then they'll be like, all right, like, I can't do this. Like, I would be I'm me. out. <laughs> like, that, that shit would be me. hurts. You're going to have to have, like, a pain tolerance. Yeah, that shit is hurts. Like, I obviously, I sat through the whole thing. But, like, I wanted to, like, I just wanted to cry. And I, I just wanted to get up and leave. But I didn't. I went through with it. Yeah. But that was, like, the last time I went. And, like, you have to upkeep with it every, like, I don't know, like every month or two months, like you have to keep doing it, and it yeah. costs like 80, 90 bucks. Like, oh, it's, shit. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Why not just do it yourself? Just buy like the whole. I don't think I, I don't think I, <laughs> I would do that myself. I'd be like, <laughs> and just tie, <laughs> tie it to like the end of Damn. a door. <laughs> slam <laughs> the door. Right, it's not nah. a tooth. Yeah, <laughs> it's not that. It's not that simple. It's not that serious. <laughs> no. But I was actually when you were saying that, I was thinking about like when people get their like when guys get their back waxed, oh my God. or like their so chest waxed. They say the chest is like one of the worst places. I to get believe it. That shit is so sensitive yeah. and so. But you have tattoos, so I would think that's painful too. It is painful. It is. Like it's really painful. The one on my wrist actually hurt really bad. I would say that's more painful. No, not compared to like getting like your bikini area wax. Yeah, because that's a sensitive area. Yeah, like that was bad. I would go through like plenty more tattoos rather than doing that ever again. Cause I gotta get everywhere. That Ew. shit hurts. Like they're just like. Okay, she's boo-boo. like, do do, oh. rip that shit off, and you're like, oh my god! I was like, I was like, I need a second, I need a second. <laughs> Did you like, really okay, say like, yeah. time, like time out? Yeah, like, I was like, all right, like I need I a need second, a bag, I need to breathe. Me, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, yeah, like Man. this is like the best like kind that we have. Like it's actually like really good for your skin, blah blah. And I was like, okay, like easy peasy, like yeah, it's gonna feel like it's gonna feel like a band aid, no. bro. I felt like my skin was like getting ripped <laughs> off. Yeah. That shit got hurt. burned off, literally, like my potatoes. Tom, that shit was bad. So, that shit was really honestly, bad. I'm surprised, honestly. like, I'm surprised, like, the the smoke alarm didn't go off. Cause, like, if we like leave like wanna, a freaking crumb in there, I, like, I the just, whole thing goes off. I just want to take the second to just appreciate like my life for today. Like, <laughs> yeah, I honestly was not gonna be here, and it was due to the fact that this kid left his potatoes in the oven overnight at 450 degree fahrenheit yeah some crazy insane number and i'm sleeping <laughs> right thinking everything's nice and i'm gonna I'm, I'm thinking i smell something burning but i was like you know what? i'm probably just bugging like i'm just gonna go back to sleep oh my god yeah that shit happens god. yo when you're Honestly, a chef, it doesn't happen <laughs> no that does not happen bro when you, you gotta chef, you gotta be on top of your shit i was i it was a mistake and that's life or death right there it was a mistake. I, honestly it could have got to the point where like the fire is right next to our door and me and the me and Brittany gotta make a decision whether to jump <laughs> out that slide out that window like fucking Batman or jump off the fucking Bro, I'm <laughs> roof. I'm burning and alive. I, I'm not jumping. You jumping that shit? No, I'm not jumping that. You're, you're burning alive? Yes. You're bugging. I'm jumping without you. I'm, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm not <laughs> jumping. I'm too I'm like, see you in the next life and just boom. <laughs> nah. That's crazy. But nigga, you gotta remember, bro. I know. We've been talking about it all day, but like those shits, I want you to put a picture up <laughs> to show people how burnt and crusty. I it. did. I now did. put Post it up on this episode. Crispy. Oh, I was like literally smacking crispy. it, and that you shit was like literally a rock. Yeah, 
because I was like, I just wanted to see like maybe if like I hit it and maybe like just like it just turned into dust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because like it looked like it was, but that shit literally turned into like coal. Yeah, like yeah. you could put that shit on the hookah and literally. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like, <laughs> you literally could. And get Holy the party shit. started. Yeah, yo, I was just distracted. <laughs> um, and what I was gonna say, I was like, I think I was doing a hair treatment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, yo one thing that i do miss when i did have my short hair was the just not being able or not having to worry about doing a leave-in conditioner or this or or even doing a hot treatment like the longer your hair the longer it takes for you to get red yeah definitely hey, those pictures that you see girls, people putting on the gram i mean for me a little bit that shit takes work Nick, you should be looking crazy like when you wake up. Oh my like, you God. have to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because the curls are all over. It's like up here. Like, if, even if he like, sleeps with like the nightcap on, like it like forms to his hair. So, like, it looks <laughs> like it looks crazy. Like, hey, Arnold. It looks, yeah. Bro, it looks crazy. <laughs> like, if it's wet in a nightcap, mm, forget about it. Bro, it's like. He has to no, redo it in the morning. That shit's crazy. It's all pushed down. Mm -hmm. and it's like. Oh, all frizzy. Frizzy and. Bad. Yeah. But. I don't know. I'm about to. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about chopping it like Jersey Drake, you know. But then it's like you put all this time into it, you yeah. know. You put all your conditioners, all your products for it. That's like your baby. I know. And like, who am I going to do oils and like hair masks with? Yourself. <laughs> True. Oh, <imagine>. Geo. Geo. <laughs> Gee, babe. All right, so now let's say somebody was in need of your hair. Mm. And I you got the it. option of donating all of it or just being like, yo, I'm sorry. No, I would donate it. You would donate all of it? I would donate all of it. If somebody could not grow hair, or like, let's say they're like a cancer survivor, I would I would literally be like, make me bald. All right, not, let's say not uh, anybody. Right, I want to see this. Can we please go to St. Jude? <laughs> no, I'll probably be wearing a hat. I, like I want to definitely see this go down. No, but like once my you hair. You would not go bald just for another person. I would. No, you would not. Yes, I, I would. Put money on yes, it. I would. You, if we step then into you don't a, know me. If we, into, if we step into a hospital and there's cancer survivors in there and they need your hair, then I would give it to them. Because right, so I can just grow my hair back. They can. Right, we're gonna do that shit. Mm. Alright, fine. But I that. already told myself that when my hair gets like to no, where no, I want no, it to be, I'm gonna cut it. I want to like take take you out to the hospital and just like trimming. Like cut it's it. Like I want to buzz, buzz it. Cut. Yeah, like I, I want to buzz, buzz that it. shit. You <laughs> <laughs> I wear a fucking hat. Yeah, this <laughs> is on record, so there's yeah. no going back. That's she fine. I can grow my hair it. back. She was this... so. Like, I probably go, would, nuts. but I'd be like, you know what? I did a good thing. Like I'm fine. I did yeah, a good you thing. Better have <laughs> all these mantras and fucking quotes on your walls. I will. Morning. I'll even do like Zen. I'll be like, <laughs> every but, morning you remind yourself, like, okay, I did this for a good cause. Because I would. Well, I would know I did it for a good cause. If I had all that hair and went down to like this, like G Baby, both, <laughs> I would be tight myself. I don't. I wouldn't be tight though. Like I would just do it, just because like I'm a good person. Oh, let's see it. I want to see, I wanna yeah, see you, you the do talking, it. Bro. I, honestly, I want to just cut your hair right now and then okay, we'll fine. just put it in a bag. Fine. Then we got to do yours next because you're already, you're already starting to bald anyways. Oh, well watch your that mouth, shit off girl. This is a curly. I got to go to the curl fest. If you guys want to invite me out there, please hit me up. My name is Jerry Lugo, at Jerry Lugo. My curls are better than yours. Curly Fest 2020. Yeah, but, um, yeah but who has been doing your hair? Me. me that's one thing me. i would say if it wasn't for britney your hair be looking fucking crazy it would be toasty meaning yeah. it still look bad you probably would start dead ends your watch them out bro. dead strands i guess but it wouldn't be that bad oh that's Britney's not like the fucking lord and savior wait. okay but you don't brush your hair i brush your hair oh my you God. do not brush come your on, hair you put he's a on baby <laughs> you're about to turn I how old come on come on 24 <laughs> i can say that to people wait the mic is the core is going nuts. Hold on. <laughs> and you like cut you cut this whole part out. <laughs> nah, we're not cutting this whole part out. We Gucci, cause that's how we do it. We're real. We're okay, yeah, we're real. We're so like, take it. You know what? I'm gonna donate my things to Lux of Love. When it's long enough, I'm gonna deadass donate to Lux of Love. Do it. My friend, one, one, some lady told me that they. I don't know. Supposedly, I don't even want to. To be honest, I'm gonna just say it. But all right, what are you saying? Nah, cause it was like worth. 
this, I'm gonna just say, my one of my coworkers was like, she went to do Locks of Love, mm-hmm. and with a friend, and her friend had like uh, like like my brother's hair texture, mm-hmm. hair, brother's hair type, and she had more of like like mine, but it was just curly. It was just you know healthier, I guess people would say, but it's not really that healthy. Or whatever, mm-hmm. it's just a different hair type, right? Um. And the people supposedly took hers and then didn't take the other girls because of the hair type. Because it's also oh, it was more valuable. I mean, probably. Wait, like you, you're saying, like the girl with straight hair was her hair was more valuable. Something like that, yeah. I feel like that's a thing because, like, I don't really see too many like wigs that have like these like kinky curls in it. I feel like maybe it's just harder for them to make a wig out of it. Mm. But I also don't know. I don't know yeah. the facts. I don't know either. So I was, that's what I, was, I wanted to ask. Like, I, I, she was saying, like, you know, all oh, the racist. But I was like, no. Nah. I feel like maybe it's just harder. It was, maybe I, it's harder. Maybe it's a different thing. Then it's not bringing race into every single little thing, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't okay. think it, with that, I, I didn't think race was was that big, played a part on that. Yeah, because, like, they won't even take care of that's, like, slightly damaged. Really? Yeah, yeah really? like if your hair's like dyed, they won't take it. Oh, if it's dyed? Yeah. Wait, but they took Maluma's. It's not. I don't know. Or is Maluma it? baby. They was took his. his dad? He, what? I said was his dad? I don't know, I but I know so. that yeah, I, I don't think they'll his. take like severely like damaged hair. So now severely. Yeah, please someone fact check her because she's also a little. Cuckoo. How about we start fact checking you? Oh, yeah, we didn't hey. even hear you. Your mic went out. For real? Nah, now nah, she's Gucci. <clears throat> but How do you feel about that? What? Like the color trend. Wait, your mic went out. Why For is real? everybody's mic? There you go. <laughs> I said, how do you feel about the color trend? Like what? What? In color? So what? in terms of hair color, so now I feel like now it's more of a bluish. I even seen purple, um, as like a popular color. Um, Could I've be, had um, pink hair before. I had it for like. Pink. Yeah, I, I had, never it was like light color pink. On you. It wasn't like hot pink. It was like a really light pink. And I just wanted to try it out, and I did. And it lasted for like a week, and then it just kind of washed out. But to be honest, like that was really like stepping out of my comfort zone. Mm. And I don't think I would, I don't think I would do it again, just because like I'm not like a big like color kind of person. Like I yeah. like more like natural colors. And plus, like, I feel like it's harder to find outfits that like work with your hair. So, like, that's why, like, I don't even get, like, color tattoos because of that reason. <laughs> nah, that's definitely true. That's why I can't agree with the statement that hair is just hair because no. it's it's a whole, it's a whole look. It's a whole, it's a part of you. Um, it, it's, like, a part of your mood. It's, like you said, it's even harder to make outfits. and Yeah. At a young age, I think it's a part. Yeah, it's, it means a lot to you. As you, I think look, you could change it. You want braids? You could do braids. Yeah, you want, but as you, per, uh, as you, per, if you bald, <laughs> not, you see, <laughs> not you dragged it. But as you progress, I think you put less attention on that because you see that more things are more important, important than hair. You yeah, know I was saying? gonna say like you stress that less. Older, like, people kinda, hear, yeah, people kind of stop caring about their appearance it's because like they have other things going on. Like they're raising yeah. families owning right. businesses yeah like they're not worried Mortgage. about what the, they're not worried about what's on top of their head yeah but right. it is still a big thing a big thing because in certain industries like um what's what's one where you like like customer service or where your face you're in the public eye that mm-hmm. definitely plays a big part um on how successful you are in most cases if you're bored or have hair your parents like if you're a salesman or a saleswoman i would agree or i would definitely see someone with i guess hair making more money than someone with yeah, no hair bugging. <laughs> yeah you're bugging what i've seen fuck? some really crusty like customer you're bugging. people really that's dead i that feel like it's not maybe, maybe it just who, depends it does not determine how successful you are i feel like it's just to. your personality like but it's just hear. the okay, way you so think right, maybe it was a bad example let me say maybe. all right barber shop so uh, would you go to a guy a barber that's a who has story. no hair versus a barber who has yeah, you've been to a couple. What do you mean? Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I never he was bald. Will. Yes, you did on Delaware. I never went to him. That's the one that shop. Isaiah. Yeah, that's his shop. I didn't go to him, though. The one that I went to with Isaiah, you went yeah. to him. 
I didn't go to him. Then who'd you go to? Um, Hector. Yeah, Hector. That's the guy I meant. The Will the shot, but Hector was bald. No, he wasn't. I see. This is the second time you're going to be wrong, bro. First, it was with the word. I forgot what. Um, exactly. Yep. Nah, it was. Um, oh, uh, spontan- oh spon- spontaneity. Yeah, spontaneity. And it was like. Spontaneity. Yeah, he said it was spontaneity. Spontaneity. So I said, slap you once on that cheek. And then when I'm gonna put another picture of Hector, I'm gonna slap you on the other cheek and Anyways, say, yo, he's bald, bro. I don't remember that. <laughs> but if you could find a picture of him, please be my guest. Just. I'm the fact check on, on the show, so just take my word okay. for it. So now he's bald. asking you, yeah, would you um, have confidence in a barber who was bald or had a you know fucked up hairline or whatever, giving you a haircut? I mean, nah, but sometimes, like we said earlier, it's just, that's just genetics. Like you could be a good barber, but you could lose your hair too. Like two things, yeah. could, two things can happen, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Two things could be, can be right, you know. I feel just like because you don't have, just because you don't, yeah, just because you don't. I don't, I can't hear you. But just Sorry. because you don't have hair, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't mean you're not a good barber. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I just said. Yeah, true. I know, but I couldn't hear you. So nah, that's true. Okay. But at the same, in the same time, at the same time, I'm not gonna take that risk. If I'm new to the shop, I'm not gonna be like, <laughs> oh, ah, yeah, yeah, okay. I see your plaque on the wall, but I'm looking at you. And who's gonna be cutting my hair? <laughs> so, so you won't go with that baldy? Nah, I stick to my people. Yeah, Hector was bald. I'm just letting you know that. And do I go there anymore? No, <laughs> yeah. I don't. I got it.